So the transom is complete. Uh, now it's time to move on to the bow and the support ribs, but I want to make a quick note. The transom was going to tilt like this back on the boat, but I I've decided not to do that. I'm going to make it deadpan flat, and here's why. Tie long tails, the transoms are raked back so far in American style John boats that it just it doesn't set the ballast quite right. Now I wanted to make it tilt forward, but I'm worried about that sharp edge there digging into the into the soil and stuff into the dirt and sand and I worry about taking on water if it's tilted forward but if it's tilted back it'll be fine but it's going to be easier to build if I leave it straight up and down that way we already have a nice little bevel uh, edge. we don't have to worry about beveling an edge or anything if you look at a lot of the Thai long tails in Thailand they mount them in boards which means the engine is further in board and further forward so the boat is ballasted better I think we can get some a similar uh, ballast if we just make the back of the transom straight up and down and don't even worry about uh, tapering it at all okay so the bow is gonna be pretty much um, the process is just like the transom the bow is essentially about half the width uh, no it's half the depth of the transom okay so this is the Willy rip my current John boat if you look at this trend if you look at this bow it's about half the size of the transom but notice the shape of it though it's not completely square right the, the shape of this is roughly the same taper uh, as the transom itself in other words the way it it has a slight V to it and that's what we're gonna do on my boat now I'm not copying any dimensions off this boat because I don't want to you know I sat down with graph paper and, and made my own design for my own boat but what we are going to do is copy the transom from my boat to the bow so that we don't have to worry about bending the wood. The wood can just sit straight and not have to be bent around. So here's what I mean by that. This is going to be the piece. This is going to be the bow piece. Now we have the same taper, right? So now when we go to put the sides on, instead of having to bend it round like you see on some boats, it'll just lay flat and we don't have to worry about bending wood at all. Much easier. So, but instead of cutting it first, we're going to epoxy it first. So we have the transom and the reinforcement piece. This is where we can put on us a trolling motor if we want. The markings are on the other side already. There's our reinforcement piece. It's just to mark where we're going to put our epoxy and repeat the same thing. Thin epoxy on this side, thicken the epoxy, clamp it down. Again, same procedure. This stuff is so hot, I may not have to thin it at all. I am going to thin it just a tad. You don't know until you just try it. You can just dab a little bit on to see uh, a little bit thick. What you're looking for is how much it soaks into the wood, and this isn't soaking in as much as I want it to or as quickly as I want. Pour it on. Oh, come on. Just be careful about spots, splotches and spills, you know, because don't linger, don't lag, just work. Again, the, the reason for the xylene is to thin out the epoxy so that it soaks into the wood better. It soaks into the wood deeper. And we'll do this, the whole boat's gonna be built like this. And the wood is somewhat, you could say it's a little damaged because it's checking. It's, there's these little separation parts. Um, and that's okay because um, by the time we put the fiberglass, it'll stop all that and the, and the, and the glue in the, um, Epoxy is saturating in to fill in those gaps, and so it's just not going to be a problem. Yeah, maybe a little bit too much there, but nah, it's all right. You just kind of have to work quickly. I mean, that's the thing. I can't, I can't say that enough or stress that enough. We'll need way more than this, as you've seen in past videos.
This should be all I need for this. Just like the other batch, just spread it out, man. Spread it out. Okay. Same drill. Again, in the morning we'll have a bow. The only thing we'll have to do is cut it. Then the only thing will be left is to make the support struts, which is essentially the same process. We're gonna we're gonna we're only gonna do about four support struts this time, and then uh, then it's on to assembly, and it'll start actually looking like a boat here in not too long a time. See you guys.